Today I'm finding out exactly what happens when you drive a budget electric car until it completely dies. Will it stop? Will it go into limp mode? Will I be able to turn it off and on again and get a bit more range? I have no idea, but I'm here to find out. The car in question is my 10 year old Nissan Leaf that I bought about three months ago for just 2,400 pounds. It says it can do around 80 miles on a single charge, but can it really? I'm gonna be driving on a mix of motorway, country roads and dual carriageways to get real world conditions and test how far I can drive. So the rules are, I'm starting at home here in the southwest of England. I'm starting with 100% charge. I'll be driving west at about 40 miles and then circling back around east and seeing whether I can make my 80 mile journey in one go and find out exactly what happens when the car eventually dies. I'll be driving in normal conditions and at normal speeds. I reset the trip counter to zero and I'll give you updates throughout the trip as to what the range says, what the battery percentage is and what the car is doing, especially when it gets to a low condition. By the end of this trip, we'll know exactly how many real world miles an electric car can do after 10 years. Let's go. Okay, let's turn the car on and see how much range I've got. It says it's 78 miles, it's at 100%. So let's reset the trip counter to zero. So here we go. So by the end of this trip, we'll know exactly how far my 10 year old budget electric car will do on a single charge and what happens when it completely dies. So my story with this car is that I bought it in May 2025, so just a few months ago. And after I came back from traveling, I had a really limited budget. So I wanted a car that was 3,000 pounds all in for tax and insurance as well. And looking at petrol and diesel cars that were automatic at that price, considering the tax as well, there really weren't that many cars available. So I bit the bullet really and I thought, why not just go to electric? Because I was thinking about going to electric anyway at some point. So I wanted to see what it would be like to live with and drive a budget electric car and show you really the whole journey I've had with it so far. This will be the ultimate test though, really, to see how far it can go on a single charge because I tried to get 100 miles range out of this car on another video. So do check that out on my channel. But also I didn't really drive it until it died. I just drove it really economically and really carefully to try and get the most miles range out of it. Uh, whereas this one, I'll be driving it normally. I'll be driving it on motorway speeds, at, you know, longer distances as well on motorways and not actively avoiding them like I was on that challenge. And my ownership experience so far has been great. I mean, yes, the car has limited range, but I think for everyday driving around town and, and doing my you know weekly shops or whatever, going to the gym and stuff like that, it's perfect for me because I don't often drive over 80 miles anyway. And even if I do, and the, one of the few trips that I have driven 80 miles or more, uh, I've just simply charged on the way using the public charges that are very reliable now anyway. So I've not had any problems with those. And also this car's really kind of got a lot of luxury features for considering its age and considering the price I paid for it. It's got automatic headlights, automatic wipers, it's got cruise control, it's got Bluetooth and a screen with sat nav. I mean, yes, the sat nav is a bit outdated, but it's got every kind of comfort feature that you need really. So I've just started, we're 6.3 miles in and I've got 70 miles left of indicated range according to this meter here, and I'm on 91%. So I've already lost 9% in just six miles. We're just about to hit the motorway as well. So we'll see how much that affects the range. And I'll be driving at normal speeds. Like I said, I've got the air conditioning on. It's only 17 degrees apparently outside. And uh, yeah, let's hit the motorway now. And I'll give you an update in a bit about how this drives on the motorway. Now motorways with new electric cars are pretty normal compared to petrol and diesel. They're pretty much the same. But with this 10 year old electric car uh, with a smaller battery pack, then uh, it you know drastically affects the range. Speed definitely affects the range. And we'll see how much it really reduces by when I've driven a bit more on the motorway. I've noticed the range drop a lot when I'm going above 60 miles an hour. So I'm doing 65 at the moment, trying to overtake a lorry. But of course, if you want to drive efficiently, then you can just by slowing down to say 55 or 60 miles an hour. So to give you an update, 47 miles range indicated left. I'm on 68% battery. 
and I've only done 21.5 miles, so that doesn't look good because it's uh, the indicated range at the start was 78 miles, and apparently, according to this, it's going to do 68 miles. But I'm on the motorway, and I've also got cruise control on at 65 miles an hour, so I'm not exactly driving efficiently at the moment. I'm a bit worried I'm not going to make it back, to be honest. And a reminder for me, of course, if you're enjoying this video, please hit the subscribe button as I'm trying to grow this channel and provide you a lot more value in the future. And it's totally free to do, of course. So please hit the subscribe and I'll show you exactly how far this car can do on one single charge. And you'll find out exactly what happens to it when the battery runs out. OK, so interestingly, it's actually now just gone below 50 percent battery. Uh, I'm only about 30 minutes into the journey, to be honest, as well. but. 49%, 31 miles indicated range left, and we're really reducing our, our range on the motorway. And I've only done 31.7 miles, so in theory, the car can only, only do 62 miles, according to this, and we'll run out kind of soon. But now I'm going downhill, so who knows? It might suddenly recuperate some actual range because the regen braking is working, so who knows? Wish me luck. Also, I'm thinking of doing some merch and finding out some ways that you can support the channel if you'd like this content as well. Um, and obviously you get something in return for merch. So I was thinking of things like mugs or key rings or things like that. So do let me know in the comments of what you'd be interested in and if you'd be interested in merch, to be honest, as well. OK, we're off the motorway now. I've turned off the cruise control and we're actually improved the range on the indicated range meter. Uh, it says 41 miles and I'm at 45%, so we should make it back. And now it's time to mix up with A roads and B roads. So, yeah, this will be interesting, to say the least. OK, on country back roads now, doing 38 miles an hour. And it's saying 27 miles range left. And I'm just about to hit one third battery, according to the indicated battery level of 34% at the moment. So I've done 45 miles so far. And according to this, 27 miles left would mean I've only got 67 miles range in total, which is not really that good because I've been driving for about an hour now and the range has been affected heavily by the motorway. And we'll see exactly what happens when it runs out and I'll give you more of an update closer to the time. So I've got 22% battery left. I've got 18 miles indicated range and I've done 54.3 miles in total. And it's just about to tell me that I should be finding a charger because at 20% it flashes a warning on the dashboard. I remember seeing this before. I've been doing a mix of like 40 to 60 mile an hour roads, the back roads. Right, there we go. We've just seen the battery level go down to 20% and it says battery level is now low and it's flashing the plug-in sign and it's flashing the range sign as well. There are some horses coming up. What a lovely little village this is. I think what's helped me a little bit is the regen because there's been lots of downhill driving. So I've just checked out my route and I've got 25 miles until I get back home and I've only got 18 miles range. So we'll see how much further I can drive with this difference, if that changes at all. 20% battery, and yeah, I think I'll probably just be short, to be honest, of where I'm going to be heading. So that'll be interesting to find out how far I am away from home before it packs up. Cool. OK, wish me luck and see you as it gets really low. OK, now we're down to nine miles range, according to the indicator here, and we're on 11 percent battery. I've done 64.2 miles now and I've also got 17 miles left on my journey. So definitely going to be short, let's say. Um, I think I've realised now why I am getting less range than I thought I would from this journey. It's because it's going up and downhill quite a lot. I think where I am driving in the southwest of England, you do get a lot of hills, especially going uphill for some reason. Um, and these little hills will obviously eat into the range of the car. So I'm not going to get the 80 miles that I originally thought I would uh, from the car, I don't think. And also the fact that I've had the air conditioning on and I've been doing motorway driving. So all of these things add up. Although the indicator on, on my display here actually says I've got four of these Christmas tree lights that come up, which tells me that I've been driving. Oh, oh, 
Very low battery level. Do you want to search for a nearby charging station is what has come up now. And I've got no miles left. No miles left flashing on the screen now on the dashboard. So we're in unknown territory. I've got 16 miles to go and it says no range at all. I'm on 9% now. Just see if I can pull over a second to give you a report on that. Let me just pull in here and I'll show you what I've got on the dashboard. We're on 8% battery and as you can see the flashing nothing. I've done 65.6 miles in the middle of the countryside. Wish me luck on the last few minutes of this journey. Okay, so my car has just hit no battery percentage left at all, zero. In other words, it doesn't know when it's gonna run out. So we'll see how far I can go. I've on 67.1 miles, which is actually quite low. Oh, by the way, I've turned the air con off and I've also turned the cruise control off. So far, there's no change in the way it drives. No battery bars, no range, and no battery percentage left at all. So I think any minute now it's gonna it's gonna fail. Driving a bit more cautiously now. Okay, now I'm gonna go really steep uphill, so this might make it cut out. This might be the worst place for it to cut out. I'm on 75.3 miles, so it's been about 10 miles now since the range completely ran out. So in theory it should be it should die any time, but this is the hill. Okay, I'm going up the hill, this is really steep. Oh, losing speed. Oh, it's okay. Okay, we're going through. Oh, have we lost some power? Yeah, we have, we're in turtle mode. Moni motor power is limited. Here we go, this is it now. We're in limited power mode and I've just entered a village, which would be interesting. Oh yeah, my foot's flat to the floor and it's hardly accelerating at all. Oh, motor power limited again. We're going downhill now, so we're gonna get some regen. Yes, oh no, we're not actually getting any regen at all. Okay, we're nearly at 80 miles now, and it's still going. I've still got the tortoise on the dashboard, the light. Oh, it's died. We're just coasting. We're in neutral, okay, it's died. That's it. We're in neutral. Oh my goodness, it's gone. The car has gone. I need to find somewhere to go because I can't, no power. I'm going to have to turn on my, okay, here we are. I'm just going to turn on here and that's it. I've got no power. Oh, no power steering now either. Okay, let me give you a situation report. It's just died. I've got a light here on the dash. I've got no battery percentage. I've got no miles left at all. As you can see, it's done 80.1 miles. And as you can see here, warning lights everywhere and it's in neutral, so it's not completely died. That's it. Let's see how far I've gone and let's see how efficient I've driven. Well, I've got to get home now, so thanks everyone for watching and see you next time.